Hello, my name is Sheree Kelsey, and welcome to the Kelsey Crew. Tonight, I made this one pot lasagna. It was cheesy. It was gooey. It was delicious. I went on and sprinkled a little bit of spinach in there, tried to sneak some in there for my family. But you know what? They didn't even care. It was so good. Everybody just went on and ate it. This was a quick and easy meal. We have a family of eight, my husband and I, and all of our children ate it. And it was just something that I got done in 30 minutes. So stay around and see how we put this thing together so we're gonna start off with just boiling some water okay we're just gonna boil water and after our water has come to a boil we're gonna break up these lasagna pieces i do recommend breaking them up very small i thought i broke up these pieces fairly small but as the water boiled i'm like girl these things are too big but then nobody choking everybody made it secondly we're gonna go ahead and just ground up some of this italian sausage this sausage was just right i didn't have to really add any type of seasonings into this meal just only um a little bit and i'm a heavy seasoner but hey this is good i'm just showing that i took it out of the casing and it just went on and ground it up like it was um you know ground beef ground sausage something like that you keep on grounding up grounding up grounding up until it's all nice and brown because you know we want to eat cooked meat we don't want to feed ourselves or our family uncooked meat so that's what i'm doing right here and now it's all good and brown and things like that. And then my noodles are boiled. So let's start assembling this meal. Sometimes I like to only use one pot on this day. I was trying to help and get done. So I just went on and use two pots. But neither one of these dishes was really a lot to wash. So hey, might as well just get it done the first time so it can be done in about 30 minutes or so. So you just go ahead and get your spaghetti sauce. And I use a ragu and some hunts. I thought I was going to have to use a lot of sauce. But I only used two of that big can, that small can of hunts. And there was plenty for this big old pot. Now, I am feeding seven people. My Our eighth person in our family is a little five month old. So she doesn't eat yet. Uh, excuse me for my arm. I'm working on my camel camera angles but anyhow so we're stirring this all around and getting it all good and like i what i like to call it saucy you know but you want all your noodles to be covered with that sauce you don't want no dry noodles so they don't ever taste good so for my seasons i just use italian seasoning parsley and then i have like this mixed italian and and uh lemon pepper seasoning mixed together so i used that and that just made it so flavorful like i said you really don't need a lot of seasoning for this meal but that's just me you know add my little seasons and seasoning in and just trying to get it all flavor flavorful for my family So what I did, I did all that good stuff and then I added my meat. I guess I could have went on and added my meat, you know, beforehand. But I just decided to do it like that. And after I add my meat, I try to stir it around because I want my meat to be covered with that sauce as well. I want it all to blend together. All my flavors blend together like one big, beautiful pot of pasta. <laughs> Since I have this spinach on hand, I'm like, let me go ahead and just add like two, three handfuls of this spinach. You know, they ain't nobody going to know. They did know, but nobody complained because it, it tastes good. It brought, to me, it brought it out just a little bit more. So that's what I'm doing. I'm adding some spinach on here. And you know what I'm going to do next, right? I'm going to stir it around, stir it around, stir it around. And then I'm preheating my oven because I am going to make some bread with this you know why not the bread tastes good with the pasta so i added some cheese with this i just got some um mozzarella cheese and just spread it on the top it 
made it very cheesy so i was thinking to myself i should have layered this but i'm so glad i didn't because it would have been too much cheese well for our family liking you know whatever y'all like to do you go ahead and since i don't have a top to this pot you know i broke it a couple who knows when i broke it so i just put um a lemon of foil on top of it to let my cheese melt and then this is just a little clip on how like i made the bread i just had some little little bread you get from walmart that's already pre-sliced like french bread that's already pre-sliced and i just put some little butter on there and things like that and just kept it moving So here's our finished product. This was very good. Like I said at the beginning, very tasty. Uh, the meal turned out just right. Very cheesy. I don't even think, I probably only used like a cup and a half of cheese. To me, that's only a little bit because like I said, I'd be extra. So I use a lot of seasoning. I use a lot of cheese for our meals. And I didn't have to do so for this meal. This meal was very nice with just a little bit of, you know, extra on it. But it would taste nice without any seasoning in it. And also it would taste nice without any cheese you know um on top of it as well so i'm assembling all of our little trays well these are not really trays but you know they're gonna be our trays tonight and after i assemble that i'm gonna put our lasagna in and we had us a tasty quick and easy meal my name is Sheree Kelsey. This is the Kelsey crew. Consider uh subscribing to our channel and I on this channel I show you what I feed my large family of eight. <laughs>